So I'm going to give y'all a couple minutes to get your life together before I um, proceed with this because y'all ain't going to like it and I don't think I'm going to really care because it's my thoughts and this is what I want to say about the issue. Real Housewives of Potomac. I haven't given y'all any updates because the show is just, and I don't think I'm going to watch it um, after this season is over because it's wearing me very thin. Um, the biggest thing that has happened leading up to this past week's events with Monique and Candace fighting. Candace is a spoiled brat. Candace is an annoying spoiled brat. Candace is everything adult that we look at and be like, you're a grown ass little girl. So Candace and Monique were friends. They were like sisters, they said. They went out, they hung out, the husbands liked each other, and it was all cool, no problems. Something happened, and neither one of them says they know what it is, but apparently Candace throws shade, Monique throws shade, and the same person that we see, allegedly, according to Candace, is not the Monique she knows. Neither one of them have gotten to a space where they can get together and have a conversation as grown-ass women, right? So the stigma that has been going through and on and on and on about each one of them is Monique is wrong. She shouldn't be fighting her. She's a grown-ass woman. She got kids. She married. Let me explain something to you. I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm 42 years old. All my friends are in their 40s. We're best friends for 26 plus years. I'd never, ever attempt to fight, put my hands on. We will argue verbally because that's what adults do. And... Monique and Candace don't have that. Monique and Candace have known each other for maybe three, four years. That's your friend, but I don't feel that's her friend enough to say I'm not going to put my hands on her. That's one. No, that's not right, but if you keep poking the bear and poking the bear. So I'm, let me just say, I've had people that I've met three, four years ago. You're my friend. You've come to my house. We've eaten together. We've hung out. You're my friend. But... You keep poking me and giving me shit, it might go down. It might. I'm going to warn you once. I might give you two times. But after that, it's what it is. So the And Bravo has done a great job of painting this picture of we don't do this. We don't fight on this network. It's absurd. We don't do this. We don't do that. Yeah, right, because Nene and them always be fighting and scrapping. If... My friend of three or four years, we get into a space that is less than, less than perfect, I would say. And you start coming at me and you doing all this nonsense. If I don't walk away, it's going to be a problem. And I'm going to tell you that. Oh, what, you going to fight me, Monique? You going to fight me, Monique? What you going to do, Monique? Who does that? Because that's antagonizing somebody. And you should be able to hold your composure and be like, I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess with her. I'm not going to fuck with her. And that's what it is. But if you have a lot of other shit going on in the background like Monique does, her three young kids, her husband, and we already know they're going through something um, as it references to Cherie saying something about her and her trainer being too close and then Giselle adding shit to the pot. And when Monique was pregnant, her and Candace got into it a year ago. And she goes, I'll drag you pregnant and all. And Monique ain't with the shit. Monique has told y'all she's not with the shit. Like, so stop playing with her. Like, she's warned you for three years and y'all still keep coming at her. So I don't know what is expected to happen. Yes, Monique flicked her hair. She twirls her hair. She twirls her hair. And Bravo shows that part. Then when Candace is in the confessional, Candace's version is she flicked my hair and her therapist said, and what did you do? She goes, I grabbed Monique's sweater. I didn't see that. Of course, Bravo goes in and does the slow motion, and she does grab Monique's sweater. At that point, I'm on your ass. And whatever happens, happens. When you are in a position of anger, frustration, and you know it's getting ready to go down, your adrenaline builds up to the point of you don't remember a lot of stuff. So... Monique didn't even, in her version, she didn't even say, I, I felt her or I knew she grabbed me. She just said, I flicked her hair and all I remember is a glass being thrown. And they show the can Candace throwing it and in, in to, I guess, get Monique off of her wig. Now, sidebar, I need the glue for that wig because that wig didn't come off. But you, nobody can tell me in that moment when you're this close and you're in my face and you're doing this and you're doing that, and I'm just like, grow whatever, grow whatever. And then I flick your hair 
and nobody says, you know what? Let me move this to the side. I'm going to just stop. And you don't just grab me. It just don't work that way. So my point in saying all of this is you have to stop being on this self-righteous high horse and don't act like nobody can get it. I don't care what age you are. Is it right? Is it okay? No. But you're not going to keep poking me. You're not going to keep putting me in that point of frustration where I can whip your ass at any point in time. Grown women should be grown women. But at the point that you start acting like a teenager and acting like you're going to whip my ass or you acting like you want to try to keep poking me like I ain't going to do shit because you're trying to punk me, if that's a real, a real phrase for them too. But it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. So it's the frustration I'm getting is people act like it couldn't have been them. In that situation, it could have been anybody. If you didn't, at that point where Candace said, what you going to do, Monique? If Monique didn't turn around at that point and walk away, it wouldn't have went that way. If Giselle, her big ass mouth, wouldn't have said, oh, let me just step to the side. Monique, this is not the time or place. Candace, go ahead to the side. And nobody just was like, yeah, I ain't going to do nothing. It was going to happen. Like, so just stop. So my um, ending point in this is, a fight will ensue and break out if someone is pushed to that point and they are stressed with other things. That was the last piece. And she warned Candace two weeks ago. You get what you get. You get. You grab me, it's on and popping. If I don't have the adulthood strength to back up and say, before I whip your ass, I'm going to just leave the situation. Which Monique didn't do. She could have did, but she didn't. Move on. And Giselle, I don't trust you. I don't know who you are. I don't want to be around you, Monique. Now, Giselle know good and damn well if that would have happened to her and she'd have pushed her or grabbed her, she'd have popped her ass too. But nobody can say what they would have done because of it not being them. People can say, oh, I would have, I could have, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have. You might because you don't know what you're going to do when your adrenaline starts boiling. I have gotten to that point and don't remember half of the shit that went, that, that went down and it starts coming back to me. And Monique apologizes and they're still trying to give her a business. Like, let the shit go. Let it go. And then Candace's mother want to press charge. Now you want to press charges. Girl, like, they both had a part in it. It happened. Move on. That's all I got to say. Have a good day, y'all.